As we all know, Facebook has rolled out a new feature for his users that is a Facebook 360 photos. And I saw a lot of my friends posting uh, the 360 photos on their walls and you guys must be wondering how they create this uh, 360 photos. The first one is by using the 360 camera. But if you do not have that one, no worry because you can also use your smartphone and with the help of apps, you can create a 360 view of your surrounding. But today I'm going to do something different because I'm trying to create a 360 photo by using my DJI Phantom 3 standard. And if you guys want to know more about this one, please watch this video. So what do you need for this project? The first one, of course, is your DJI drone, whether it's a DJI Phantom 3, Phantom 4, or Inspire one. And the second thing you need is the drone pan apps. So these apps will help you to take 360 photos around you. But unfortunately, it is only available for Apple users. So for Android users, you have to take the photos manually. And there's a very good tutorial on how to use these apps, which I'll put the link at the description box below. And the third thing you need is the Microsoft ICE software so that you can stitch up all the photos taken by your DJI drone. And finally, you need the Photoshop or other editing software, which I'll explain why later on in this video. The first step is to import photos from your DJI drone into your PC. So as you can see on my uh, desktop now, I have a folder called import from DJI Phantom and inside it is all the photos taken by using the drone application uh, called drone pan. So there are 19 of them and the second step is to launch the Microsoft ICE software or also known as image composite editor. So you can see on the top, it has three tabs, new panorama from images, new panorama from video and open existing panorama. And you click the number one and then you import all the photos that you want to composite. And then you go to the second step, which is stitch. And in this process, basically the software will help you to align and composite the images. And I know a lot of people outside there that using PTGUI Pro, but uh, that one you have to buy the license. So I would advise you guys to uh, try this out first. And if you think that it does not do a very good job, then you maybe can consider to upgrade to the PT GUI Pro. After it is done, you can see this is how it looks like. So basically on the right hand side, you can see the projection. Uh, you please uh, select spherical. And then for the orientation, you just leave it like that, zero degree uh, of roll, pitch, and yaw. And then you click on the third one, which is crop. So basically, it will help you to crop out the unnecessary blank pixels. So you can see that uh, there are some still uh, there are still some uh, blank pixels on the top. So if you do not want to do it on your Photoshop, you can basically drag this line to the place that you want, and then you go to the export. So once you are in the last step, which is the export, basically you can export to any place that you want. So uh, if you want to be a very high quality, you change this one to 100 and then export to this. So this is where you can choose the location uh, where you want to save this photo. The third step is to change the dimension of the photo into the ratio of 1 to 2. So you guys must be asking right now why we should change it to 1 to 2. Uh, this is because this is one of the important criteria uh, for Facebook to detect your photo as a 360 photo. So before I go more in depth in, on that one, let us check out the uh, properties of this photo. So you can see that the details here. The dimension of the photo is 17,920 times 5,839. So from here, you can see that the ratio is not 1 to 2. So how we do it, basically you edit it using the Photoshop. So I have tried to edit it in uh, in the Paint software, which is uh, come bundled with your Windows 10, but uh, unfortunately it cannot read. So I think you guys have to use another editing software like Photoshop. So once the photo is open in the Photoshop, what you have to do, you go to the top, to the image, and then you go to image size. And then on the width and height, basically a very good starting point is to change it to 10,000 times 5,000. And then click OK. 
So once you click that one, basically the photo will be resized into one to two ratio. But if you notice, um, the photo is a bit distorted, but I'm not so sure how to uh, eliminate this problem. So if you guys know any other good tips, maybe you can share it on the comment box below. So basically you just have to save it. And then maybe I name it as uh, Facebook 360, sorry, 360 and then save it. Okay. So this is how the photo will look like. Before we upload the photo to Facebook, there's another thing that we need to do that is to change the metadata of the photo. So how to do it is very simple. You just have to go to the photo, right click and then go to properties go to details and then we go to camera maker and type Rico and then the camera model is Rico Theta S and then click apply click OK so how to upload the 360 photo to your Facebook for example your personal page or your fan page it's very easy you just have to go to the photo or video and then click on upload photos or video and then choose the 360 photo that you want to upload, click open, and then it will start uploading. So how to know that it is in 360, basically you just have to look at the globe uh, symbol on the side of the uh, photo once it is uploaded. So that's all for today's guide video. And if you have any questions, please leave them at the comment box below. I'll try my very best to answer them. And please don't forget to like this video as well. And also subscribe to Tegila's YouTube channel so that you won't miss any episode from Tegila. And I shall talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao!